So a uh, couple of weeks back, I was contacted by the author of this uh, wonderful number theory book, uh, Professor Andrzej Dujela from Croatia. Uh, this book was originally published in Croatian, and then this is the English edition of it. It's by a publishing house in Croatia. Uh, so uh, this is going to be an early look at the book. I plan to use this book for my uh, number theory assessment. Uh, and so you're, you're going to see more of this book in this channel over time. Uh, I did pay uh, $30 to the author for this copy that he uh, mailed me to me, uh, mailed me. So uh, that's probably going to, that probably covered mo just the shipping really, because uh, the book itself is uh, priced a little more than that. I think it's something like 50 euros. I forget the exact price. I'll put links in the description. It also lists in Amazon US for like 90 something dollars. But the author, the publishing house, uh, plans to have it directly because right now it's coming through some uh, third party and not the publisher itself. Uh, and if I find that information, I'll add it to the description of uh, this, uh, this book. So in this particular uh, look through the book, I'm going to focus on the parts that I am more familiar with. Uh, because this book straddles content that I have covered before, uh, there's only so much that I can say. I think about a halfway through the book, I start getting into content that I have not covered myself. And that content I will cover. Uh, here's my little cheat sheet. Uh, that's content that I plan to cover um, as I read through the book. And I do plan to read through this book. As I usually do, uh, you can pause and uh, check the, the video. Uh, and check check what, I, what I'm showing you. And this is a new setup. Actually, this is, a, you know, I, I lost the first version of this video because I filmed it uh, portrait where I really meant to do it in landscape. Uh, so I'm filming using my cell phone, which does 4K. So hopefully the video quality will be good. You guys will let me know. And girls, uh, and yeah, you, I'm, you could have paused that and read that part. It's got its own preface to the English edition. But basically the book is sort of like two books in one, which I really like. It's got your intro material that you would get in a typical number theory course. Uh, and then it's got a lot of Diophantine equations uh, content, which I think is great because that's perfect for my uh, number theory second round. Uh, so I'll go through the uh, contents briefly. So your intro material has got Pianos Axioms, which I really like. Reminds me of Terence Tao's analysis book. Also back to the uh, Mendelssohn book and number systems that I covered in this channel. Fibonacci numbers, your divisibility chapter, then congruences. Of course, I can I see Chinese re re remainder theorem, quadratic residues, Legendre symbols. I'm gonna do some problems also, some problem videos. Let's see how they go this time. I did some the last time. Uh, quadratic forms, uh, arithmetical functions, uh, distribution of primes, which I believe is a long chapter for uh, any number theory book. I really like that this chapter really goes into detail into the distribution of primes. Uh, I plan to make a comparison video with Rosen at some point, but I'm not ready. I think I need to start covering this book and get into number theory again uh, to make a better comparison because there's so much material in this book that I have not covered before in the latter parts that I wanted to be comprehensive. Uh, then Diophantine approximation, a uh, brief chapter on cryptography, and then really, I think, as I see it, this is where the material that I have not covered, that I have not found in normal uh, beginner uh, number theory books, I don't know if I want to use the, the word normal, is. So that more about the Diophantine equations, polynomials. I love this. I am looking forward to reading about polynomials and algebraic numbers. And it's got two chapters on algebraic numbers. Uh, and then it, some even more Diophantine equations. This happens to be the specialty of this professor. So actually, uh, I, I really like that about this book, that you're, the Diophantine equation half, the latter half, you're getting it from somebody who's in that subfield. Elliptic curves, and, sen and then some Diophantine problems and elliptic, and elliptic curves. Um, okay, so I'm going to page through uh, some parts of the book. And uh, yeah, I'm going to page through some of them. So again, Pianos axioms. Uh, of course, mathematical induction, which you would see in an intro uh, book. Then Fibonacci numbers. And um, this content is, is, is more thorough 
than I've seen in rows. And some of these uh, examples and some of these proofs are actually problems in rows. And also, the book has many examples uh, for the content that it covers. Many, many examples, which I, I really like that. I'm a fan of examples. So your typical uh, beginner material. One thing that I also like is the inclusion of algorithms in the book. Uh, it reminds me of uh, some linear algebra books that I've shown here, some applied linear algebra books uh, that I've shown. Yeah, so the, the whole analysis of algorithms and number theory part does get some coverage in this book. And I know that some number theory books completely ignore uh, that aspect, very important aspect of number theory. Yeah, so congruences, see again, uh, Chinese remainder theorem, uh, more algorithms included in the book. Then decimals and uh, continued fractions. At some point I saw continued fractions, the Legendre symbol, you guys know, uh, and girls, I love the Legendre symbol. Quadratic reciprocity, one of the most important theorems, I believe, in all of mathematics. arithmetical functions, the distribution of primes. Now this chapter, I, I'm really looking forward to reading this chapter because uh, when I first went through uh, my first round of number theory, um, I had uh, this book on Riemann's zeta function that I never got to really look into. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that for this second round. Um, it's a section in this chapter specific to the Riemann zeta function. There it is. And of course, this is a new setup. This is actually the first 4K video in this channel. I'm experimenting and yeah, portrait got me today. Uh, Dirichlet characters. I'm really looking forward to this content because and, uh, of this book that I also will, revi will revisit during the second round, uh, which had a lot of material that I had a hard time with. So I think now I have two books <clears throat> that complement each other on this content. More continued fractions material. Mention of Newton's approximation. Very interesting material. So very modern, it's a very modern take on uh, number theory which is exactly what I need for my uh, second round. Um, now, in the case of the cryptography chapter, it's short. I mean, it says it in the, in the, in the book. Uh, so it's, I don't know what to say, whether it should be longer or shorter. I know Rosen has a little more uh, material on cryptography, but it's hard to say whether that's a good idea or a bad idea uh, because there, it's sometimes it's better to just go and do it in a separate book. I'm not sure uh, which way I would go if, if I was asked uh, for my opinion about that. So yeah, this, this second half of the book is where I am not well equipped to really say much at this point in time. All I can say is here's the book, here's what it looks like, and it's in my plan uh, to cover it. That I can say, that I can say. Then when we get down to the back matter of the book, it's got a really, really nice bibliography. Okay. And uh, I even saw some books when I was looking through it that I have, such as uh, Lang's, I saw Lang's Linear Algebra. And I saw mention of PARI, P-A-R-I. So it does have some software callbacks where you can go and do something with software as part of your learning. Then I'm gonna conclude by going through, and hopefully this one is landscape and you will see it in the channel. If not, I'll have to film it for a third time. Uh, this video is gonna go out January 27th. So these are my, my points. And I'm gonna summarize what I've gone through so far. Yeah, so I paid 30 bucks for my copy. Uh, it's on Amazon right now, but from a third party, eventually it's supposed to be from the, uh, the actual publisher. 
I'll put links on the description about uh, Professor Gigella, his email, all that. Uh, I plan to use the book. Now I'm going to be going into a little bit of commuting at work, I think within a month, month and a half. And that's going to affect uh, my timing. Um, but I'm going to document that in the case that any of my viewers are also commuters. And then the, that'll start the conversation of, you know, how do you do math uh, uh, commuting by, uh, by train? So I'll be, I'll be on the train uh, enough that I'll, I'll be able to say something about that. And I know from uh, years past when I had to commute a lot that I, uh, I did figure ways to uh, print copies, you know, chapters of something and read it on the train. Uh, I do plan to cover the whole book. I'll use it for my NT assessment. I, I wouldn't mind if the book had a smaller font because I think at the page that it's at, it's already a big book. And uh, maybe this book in a later uh, edition could do like Axler and actually just make the font ever so smaller to make to fit more content because I, I would love to see a little more content. Uh, I definitely would love to see odd number answers in the back. I think an appendix or maybe like a small section in the beginning uh, of baby uh, abstract algebra material on rings. I think I would like to see that. Uh, I'd like to see a little more about primitive roots. Uh, I think the, the early material in the book, uh, the first chapters, the first seven chapters, I believe could get a little more. Uh, that's, that, that's what I would say, you know, a little more material. Uh, but I, I don't know how I feel about asking for more crypto content because there's never enough. <laughs> really, that's what I would say. So yeah, there'll be a comparison with uh, Rosen and I want to thank uh, Professor Dujela for reaching out to me. I'm, I'm humbled uh, by this opportunity uh, to get a book from the author and to be able to communicate directly with an author. I've always wanted to do that. So that's great. Thank you.